Ist ein Monster? Eigentlich auch nicht. Ah, die Musik ist halt wieder geil ausgewählt. Illusion shattered. Obey. Let the show begin. Okay, waren vielleicht alles nur Glückstreffer. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? My will embodied. Warte, die kannst zweimal einsetzen wie beim Ciao. Do your master's bidding. Whirling snow. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. My opponent. Unleash. Die Vorrichte wurde zerstört und der Nöbel löst sich auf. Like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Now you shall perish. Here come the fireworks. Unleash Cryo Incarnate. Oh, wenn ich fünf, ey, fünf Stück wären schon viel geiler. Boah, das war jetzt hart übertrieben. Kommt der Ruinwächter gar nicht? Jetzt kommt er. So weit war er jetzt auch nicht weg, dass er her springen muss. Achso, der hat es zerstört, oder was? Das Ding, ne? Es geht weiter hin, da. Wo geht's denn da hin? Das ist das nächste Ding. Aber wo gehen die anderen Dinger hin? Die Musik ist komplett neu, oder? Die haben wir noch nie gehört. Tor der Wiedergeburt. Ach, verdammte Steine. My will embodied. Take your true form. Whirling snow. Coming start to art. Illusion shattered. Take flight. Obey. Sakura swirl. My apology. Unleash. By ordinance divine. Oh. Das ist eigentlich wirklich bloß wegen ihren Fähigkeiten, oder mal? Ich 
Scheiße, es sind ja zwei. Ist da der Applaus drin? Da ist die Silvia. Look, over there! Could that be the sunset vermilionite? Der ist halt auch überhaupt nicht groß, ne? Und ich stecke mir jetzt dann einfach in die Tasche, oder? Diese entspannte Musik, ey, da wird man am liebsten bloß noch zuhören. die einzige Möglichkeit, dass sie alle gemacht in der Luft zu halten. That's true. But then again, why isn't it floating? Pulsate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Pulsate reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha, you seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. Ach ja, weil wir gerade hier sind. Seht ihr das da? Da haben sich die Leute drüber aufgeregt. Ich glaube, das habe ich sogar schon erwähnt. Da haben sich die Leute drüber aufgeregt, weil man hier diesen ganz kleinen Strich nicht sieht, wo der Bauchnabel wäre. Hm. Wow. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. Die meiste davon schon was. Hold on a sec. Hyman just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too. But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely. Don't worry, I can handle the weight quite easily. What? Are you sure? Uh Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plastrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. Palmer macht sich äh, die um dich sorgen, Shinho. My safety. That's right. Paimon sure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plastrite. Let's meet at the building site later. Warum kann die Shenhua direkt den Plaustrit auf den Schultern und geht weg? Able to carry that huge rock all by herself. Huh. Adepti super strength much? We haven't slowed down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Ich würde halt sagen, die kann den leicht aktivieren und dann ist er gar nicht so schwer. Würde ich jetzt behaupten. Oh, das ist einfach viel zu stark, Mann. Dann sind wir jetzt im Wasser. Take flight. Ach ja, stimmt, wir sollen ja zu dem Erstellergebäude gehen. Oh, da ist das ganze Zeug schon aufgebaut, ne? War das vorher schon da, nicht, ne? Wie stark die das alles verändert haben. Und sie hat halt den Blaustrich schon mal reingeschoben.
Da ist eine Kiste. Fuck, das stört mich jetzt. Gut, dass die schon wieder weg ist. Mal schauen, wenn wir Glück haben. Treffen wir das so, dass wir keinen Schaden kriegen. Yes! <lacht> oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! <laughs> wow. Sie hat keinen Namen. Sie ist einfach nur Ningguang's little helper. Wie beim Weihnachtsmann. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plastrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plastrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big smug smile! I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adepti are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... Shana? It's the good. I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Das ist halt das Problem, wenn du bei Viechern aufgewachsen bist. Und ja, ich habe die Adepten gerade Viecher genannt. Oh, ich hasse es, dass die da hängen bleibt und mal einen anderen nehmen. Kann ich da einfach rein? Nein. Ach, da hinten. Wahrscheinlich muss ich mit dem Typen reden. Natürlich, mir kriegen das kleine Haus. Juan, was geht ab, Alter? Alter Mexikaner. Hi there. Juan. In, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. Warum werden Teeverkäufer extra genannt? So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! 
great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. <laughs> Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. Oder du wirst es aufessen, Pipe. Oh, all right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Du dich gut aus. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Vielleicht hat sie was vom Hühnchen gehört. Natürlich hat sie uns beobachtet und erzählt uns jetzt wahrscheinlich was über die Shenhua. Das mit den Kostümen habe ich euch erzählt, ne? Ja. Dass wir extra Skins bekommen. Als ob ich mir noch merken kann, was vor zwölf Stunden ich erzählt habe. Es geht ab, Hühnchen. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Warum fängt sie ständig immer? Es regnet an, wenn ich mit ihm rede. Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He to some degree. Cool! So, what's her adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her adeptus name instead. Her adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shenhua have an adeptus name? Uh, don't all adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? <laughs> es ist also die Wahrheit. What? You knew already? So is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha. Then aged around six years old, in her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally and are highly reliant on their parents for survival but not so her ja ich denk's mir gerade mehrere tage hat sie mit dem monster gekämpft that she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born one dealt with the monster yet she still refused to lower her guard She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. 
Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? God, the pirate brother. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. Die Meisterin von Shenhua immer sprach ist also. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Shenhua has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Mooncarver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content, but they also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you. And oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shen He because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Verdammt, zundere Vogel. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. So, Shenhua isn't an Adeptus after all! She just grew up around the Adepti. Can you hear me? There seem to have been a growing number of tales told regarding Shen He in recent years. Perhaps she was seen on the previous occasion when she secretly ventured out from the mountains. One has heard that a playwright in Liyue Harbor wrote an opera based on the legends told about her. It is called. The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Wow, was für ein Name, die göttliche Jungfrau der Verwüstung. The play portrays her as making a stand to protect her fellow villagers. <laughs> One can only surmise that every story needs a hero. Oh, hat das vielleicht mit der Yunchen zu tun? Das sind schon echt immer starke Schwerter, Alter, wenn ihr die einfach mit dem Bo... Tust du gerade deine Pflanzen düngen mitten danach? Alles klar, ich will mich nicht beschweren, macht was er wollt. Ich, denk, ich, denk, ich bin auch schon öfter abends um, 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 um 9 gedacht, ey, so, Alter, ich hätte jetzt Bock, die Pflanzen zu düngen. Und dann habe ich hinausgeschaut und dachte mir, Alter, nee, das wäre voll bescheuert. Na, 
Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you, so I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... very talkative. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but... It turns out Paimon was wrong. It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. For this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we met our fair share of real Adepti, too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend! <laughs> Whether you're an Adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends! Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do, I must say I like the title, Friend, very much indeed. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress is going. <lacht> Wie das soll ich schon wieder sagen? Ningguang's little helper. Die kleine Anhängerin. After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. <laughs> Ningguang's little helper. Oh, That's been so and guy. Thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. <laughs> I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. 